I now have the great pleasure of introducing an alumnus who truly embodies the leadership, success, and spirit of innovation that is reflective of our community. Today's commencement speaker, Jim D. Weathorn. Jim earned his bachelor's and master's degree in architectural engineering from UT Austin in 1973 and 1975. And I am proud to announce that tonight, after more than 30 years of experience in industry, he is receiving his PhD. Jim is a principal engineer and chairman of Hague Engineering Company. He is known throughout the world as the foremost expert in construction failure analysis and damage assessment. He has personally investigated more than 1,000 construction crane collapses, and he frequently shares the results of these studies with our students. Jim is a member of several committees within the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, and he serves on the Cockrell School's Engineering Advisory Board and on the Board of Advocates in the College of Engineering and Computer Science at Baylor University. Jim, you have made a tremendous impact on our industry and the Texas engineering community, and your belief in the value of education and lifelong learning is an inspiration to all of us. We are honored to have you here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Jim Weathorn. What a night. My fellow graduates, parents, friends, and faculty, you've probably never attended a graduation where the speaker graduates one week and attends his 50th high school reunion the next week. <laughs> this is without question a great honor for me to, to share this event as we receive our degrees from the University of Texas Cockrell School of Engineering. Our dreams our degrees are dreams fulfilled due to hard work and support of our family and our faculty. For some, that dream has been in our sight for four long years. For others, such as myself, much, much longer. What I have learned, besides never to give up, is never forget how you got to this night. Last year, I was asked to meet a colleague uh, here at the university, and he asked me to meet him at the Information Center. And since I got there early and was waiting for him, obviously I had to start people watching. And consistently I observed the flow of future and potential students along with their parents preparing to take tours. Consistently, without failure, I observed students with eyes big as silver dollars and a glaze of excitement across their face with a smile from ear to ear. Similarly, the parents who followed were big-eyed. However, their facial expressions appeared to be a realization that the time had come for them to step up and provide an advantage that will give you the ability to pursue a bigger and better life. We become parents with the desire to give our children a strong foundation so they can achieve their life's dreams. No matter what school, city, state, or country you come from, the pursuit of a better life is the American dream. And this is the first step in fulfilling even a better and larger dream. Tonight I've seen those same big silver dollar eyes of both parents and graduates. However, it's interesting that the roles in many instances have reversed. Your parents are thrilled and excited over your accomplishments and at the same time relieved that they were able to have given you that foundation and advantage to succeed. Your parents are smiling with great satisfaction and pride and to some degree relief. I know I've been in the audience while watching each of our six children go through the college and get their degrees. A parent's pride is overwhelming. You have achieved that dream and now so have they. As I have learned, the University of Texas engineering faculty is exceptional. They have taken that wide-eyed kid and transformed you into an engineer that is prepared to immediately contribute to society. I have experienced firsthand working with engineers from virtually every state and around the world. And I can state with confidence one undeniable fact. Your training, and I'm calling it training, 
at the University of Texas and the documentation of that training by the receipt of your degree is recognized around the world and by many, many employers, which I know you would like to hear. You are prepared to meet any and all challenges the world has to offer. In 1975, my dream for a PhD was interrupted uh, when I had to return home to join my father in the construction business. Due to growing up during the Depression, my father had only completed the sixth grade before he had to leave school and go work on the farm. Never letting up, my father insisted that my sisters and I get college degrees, which was something he was never able to achieve. As part of returning to the family business, my father insisted that I promise that one day I would finish my PhD. It's only fitting that it's on this day, May 18, 1990, that my sisters and I lost my father. And on this day, I'm able to fill that promise to him. <clears throat> As students, we work hard and spent many long hours completing our work. However, during that each time, you had the unwavering support of our family and the faculty. Never forget that. I can attest that without the support of my best friend in the world, my soulmate, the love of my life, my wife, May Jane, I could have never realized this dream and fulfilled that promise I made my father. As you walk across this stage tonight, you will also join another family. That is the alumni of the University of Texas. No matter where you locate, that family will be there and it will support you for the rest of your life. So, my fellow graduates, are you ready? That's your cue. <laughs> then let's go change the world. Hook up. <laughs>